Shall we begin? Let's begin now. So tonight, my goal is to clean out my fridge. I want to use up a bunch of leftovers, use up these fragments of stuff, and maybe get creative with it. I have some hot dogs. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, is get creative with hot dogs, try and mix it up a bit so it's not just plain, boring, old hot dogs. And I also have some um, Devonzini sausages, which are really good. The hot dogs I'm using, these are Nathan's brand, um, all beef. They are my favorite. Um, so they are completely kosher. And then, like I said, I got some Italian sausage here, so I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna probably throw this stuff on the grill to see what we can come up with here. tried it and I just tried it and now this is like my newest favorite thing. Um, if you leave the white, like the white is my favorite part, but if you just leave a little bit with the roots on it and then just pop the white into a jar of water or a glass of water, they will regrow and then you can use them again. Like because that, uh, that's only like a week and that's how much they've grown. So I thought that was kind of deep. I also have started doing it with romaine lettuce as well. And I have a whole head of romaine lettuce started. So, and you can plant them. I'm just gonna let them go in the water for now until I have room to plant them, but I thought it was kind of empty. Okay, so one of the other leftovers is my fridge. Is homemade jalapeno popper dip. So it's jalapeno popper, or it's cream cheese, uh, garlic, parmesan cheese, bacon, jalapenos. Um, so I thought, why not a jalapeno popper hot dog? So let's try that out. I think I'll take it and uh, I'm gonna do a sausage and a hot dog with it. Funny because 
because with my family, so Jeremy and Jay will eat the sausages. I don't mind them. I'm not a huge, huge fan, um, just because they're too big for me. Um, and then Maya and me like these all beef hot dogs. And then Landon, we have to cook just the regular little, you know, like the Schneider's Red Hots. We have to cook those for Landon because he'll only eat one certain size of hot dog. You know, he's one of those. I'm gonna pop it in the freezer because it freezes really well and then just pop it in the microwave the next time we want to use it. Something else while I was cleaning out my freezer I knew I needed to use up because it's been sitting there and it's going freezer burnt is whenever I have fruit that's left over that it has the potential of going bad like this is some pineapple and strawberries mixed together that were gonna go bad I throw it into the freezer and then I can use it with my little mini blender and I see I've got some strawberries in there that are on the verge of, I don't want them to get wasted and I'll make like a, a fruit smoothie or a milkshake or a, probably this will be more like a fruit slushy. I'll probably put some juice in it and it's a good way to use up that and get your fruit at the same time. So I'll do that in a little bit once that thaws out a little bit. Okay, what else have we got here? So, I have, we had steak the other night and I had some leftovers. I have some mushrooms and onions and some mac and cheese leftover. Mac and cheese inside a hot dog, do you think? Do you think that's a win? I don't know. Can't hurt to try. Okay, so I'll take, I'm not gonna do it with the sausage, I don't think. Do it with the hot dog. Okay, let's see what happens. And then I still have a couple strips of bacon. Maybe I should do the mac and cheese inside and then wrap it in bacon, do you think? I think that sounds mighty fine. Hey, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and that'll hold it in. I feel like I'm using a lot of bacon on these guys. So I'm hoping the bacon will kind of stop that from oozing out. I'm deciding, like, should I grill? Well, maybe if I grill them on the pan on the barbecue, then we're not heating up the house. Actually, it's beautiful out right now. It's not, it's finally just like the perfect temperature. It's not too, too hot. There's a nice cool breeze right now. Only thing is now it's mosquito season and that certain time of the night you just can't sit outside it's terrible even my citronella plant well i didn't expect that to fully work but okay i'm gonna these ones i think i'm just gonna slit and maybe do these up with some barbecue sauce i don't know okay, okay. So I thought, so for the last one that I'm going to do is I had a leftover loaf of um, like a sub bun and I had a small thing of garlic butter and a small thing of marinara. So I thought, why don't we do a pizza dog? So I'm going to cook the hot dog on the grill, but then put it on here, I think. So I did garlic butter, uh, marinara. I'm gonna put some cheese and then I'm gonna broil this. Ooh. And I have some of those mushrooms and onions from the other night, so I'm gonna put that on. Okay, 
so I got that. Hmm. So maybe I have some, I also still have some uh, chopped up jalapeno peppers left over, so I'm gonna maybe put a few of those on too. And these as well, I'm gonna pop into a freezer container and these freeze nicely and then you can pull them out and use them for like, if you're gonna do jalapeno poppers or you're gonna do a dip or throw it in, um, or for nachos, throw some in a queso dip. So they're always nice to have. And usually when I do jalapenos, I like to chop them all at once and get it done with because I always end up touching my face and then spending like an hour with my face burning. So I'm gonna get these put in a container and get those in the freezer and then we're gonna go and get the stuff on the grill and see how it turns out. All right, let's go get these on the grill. I'm still really awkward with this whole filming outside thing when people can hear me and I look like I'm talking to myself. So if you notice me looking around, I'm like hmm, hoping the neighbors aren't looking at me like I'm at the work. All right. So we've got our plain ones. We've got just our plain bacon wraps. We've got mac and cheese stuffed bacon wrap and jalapeno popper stuffed bacon wrap. And then the two hot dogs we're gonna use for the pizza dogs. So we're just gonna let that Okay, so I ended up switching these on to put some foil on because, and I should have known this, all the filling is kind of <laughs> leaking out, but I still think it's going to be good. But I want that the bacon to crisp up a bit, so I'm still waiting on these ones. These guys are done, so I'm going to put that, these guys on the pizza dog, and we'll go inside and throw this on the bread and get that, get that one plated up for you. So I got the, I pulled this out of the oven. It's melted and crisp, the crust is nice and crispy. Oh, words, why words aren't working today? Okay, so I'm gonna do, maybe I'm gonna do half hot dog and half sausage. And see what that, I'll bring it out to my daughter's patiently waiting for supper. So let's, actually I'll cut this in half like that. I won't lie, these are going to be messy, I know that. Always got to think outside the box, be creative with stuff, and then you don't get bored with things, and you can still do it relatively cheap. Again, this was just using a lot of leftovers. So I'm going to give this to Jade and we'll have her give it a go. However, she will not be on video. <laughs> She's peering in the door, waiting to see if we're done recording with a super sad face on, because she's hungry. <laughs> so I've moved these up now. I've switched foil and I put them on the top because I still want that bacon to crisp up a little bit more. Ow, oh, it's starting to rain. That, I'm not sure why I said ow. That was a raindrop, it didn't hurt people. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put this on top and close it up and hopefully that'll help get this process going and hopefully we can get inside before it rains too much. We got a thumbs up on the pizza dogs with Jade, but we will give you a look at them after when we get these guys in. All right, so here we go. Looking a lot more crispy. I think these are good to go. Maybe, oh, yay. And don't do that. <laughs> Barbecue failed. I forgot my tongs in the house. Okay, I have to go get my tongs. I was gonna do it with my hand. All right, let's try this again. Okay, let's try there. Just pull this, hopefully, oh, there. Okay. Push it off the propane so I don't forget. All right, let's go plate these up. Got our pizza dog and our pizza sausage. And the cutting board. Got these extra soft sausage buns, so I'm not gonna toast these or anything. I'm just gonna use them the way they are.
Okay, so first one we have here is our jalapeno popper hot dog. Um, you can, I mean, you could leave it on and crisp your bacon even more. I don't mind it like this. So I'm gonna cut that in half so that everybody can try it. So it's all ooey gooey melty. And then we have what was the jalapeno popper stuffed sausage, but all the filling fell out. So that one was a fail. But there's still a little bit of cheese in it, so it's still got the flavor going on. Oh yeah, and there's still jalapeno in there. Okay, and then, then we have our mac and cheese. stuffed hot dog. Cut that out. And last but not least, we have our just plain old bacon wrapped sausage. So we'll throw that on there. Give that a cut, and then we will do some sampling. All right, there we go. Hot dogs, a few different ways. Um, hopefully some inspiration, some ideas. If you have any other ideas, let me know. Um, I wanted to do a pulled pork one, but I didn't bring pulled pork home, so it didn't happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to this channel if you enjoyed this video, and let me know what you'd like to see. Have a great night.